About 25 people boarded a city bus to tour the research lab where precision genomics technology is finding new ways to test for and treat cancer. The newly created partnership between Intermountain Healthcare and Stanford Medicine is a breakthrough for oncologists and patients with cancer. Dr. Lincoln Nadal teamed up with Dr. Derek Haslam and others who are hoping to make a real difference in cancer treatment. This whole notion of trying to use gene mapping and DNA sequencing to, to predict better treatments for patients is feasible. Come on in here. The causes of cancer are thought to be environmental and even genetic. It happens when a person's cells reproduce endlessly without control, mutating into unhealthy cells forming tumors. The Genomics Research Lab here studies the DNA of patients, isolating the gene mutations that turn into cancer. This is a model of a DNA, and what we're trying to be able to do is identify each one of these sequences down through the, mo through the molecule to identify where we have a mutation. We each have about three billion base pairs. That's quite a few. But we, uh, and out of those, we have about 20,000 genes uh, that make us who we are. Well, we're interested in 90, uh, 165 of those genes. We don't, we're gonna exclude most of those 20,000. We're only looking for genes that we know that we can get medications for that are related to cancer. And because we're looking at the tumor itself, that's really where we're focusing our attention. The discovery of a repository of nearly five million tumor samples that were collected and stored in Utah hospital basement since the 1970s is proving to be very valuable. Researchers realize that by studying patient history responses from the past, they can now create treatments used to combat those cancers in the future. Let's take these samples from patients in the past and find their DNA fingerprint and then we'll use their past fingerprints to match it up to current patients who have the exact same fingerprint and we'll discover patients in the past how they did. Nadal said these latest DNA sequencing machines can now isolate all 20,000 genes to find out what base pairs may be missing. So when we pull these samples out of the basement up in the, 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 that repository and we analyze those we want to be as comprehensive as we can and look at all 20,000 genes and even the DNA in between genes because that may have important information for us. So in order to do that, we've acquired these instruments that will allow us to do what's called whole genome analysis. So we can look at the entire genome, all 20,000 genes, 3 billion base pairs, 46 chromosomes from a single individual. And what used to take years and cost billions of dollars now takes only a few days for only a few thousand dollars. Recently returning from a trip to London, Dr. Nadal said medical research leaders from across the world were excited about their findings. The new genomics lab is now registered in 49 states and other places across the world to receive samples for research. The data collected will also be shared among other hospitals through the Oncology Precision Network. When we have our consortium f finally totally formed, uh, we will be in about 40 states with over 200 hospitals and adding 130,000 new cases every year to our database. And that's going to allow us to ask questions like, uh, this particular gene that's altered in this patient, has anybody else in the country seen that before and how did their patient get treated and how did they do? Supported by those who have lost loved ones to cancer, the new precision genomics technology is expected to revolutionize the way cancer is treated in the future. The new lab, in its infancy stages, is just the beginning of what's to come. I can't believe there's 20,000 genes in every cell of my body and they're learning how to read every one of them. They're not looking at a lump of tissue, they are looking at these genes on every cell. But the fact that they can target the actual mutation, the cancer cell, it's just mind-boggling. I can't believe it. They're so on the cutting edge with what they're doing here in St. George that uh, next month is going to be a different story than what it is this month. The new Intermountain Cancer Center is currently under construction and expected to be completed by summer of 2018. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.